from Crackadamia. We thought we'd cover some of the basics of maintenance and tuning on our huskers, which is pretty similar for most huskers that run a drum and some chains. So initially just undo the top and expose the chain and the drum by undoing the three bolts. And then we give it a good clean, a wipe down, get all the, the rubbish out of it from the last time. And we can check the chains from here, make sure that there's no rubbish stuck inside them. And as you can see, this drum is still in good condition. There's no scalloping at all. And if your drum looks as bad as this one that we replaced recently, then it really is time to replace it. As you can see, this badly scalloped where the nuts have run for about 15 years. And it means that this drum will actually let um, large nuts through into the husking area. So once we've inspected the drum and the chains for debris and it's all nice and clean, we put the machine back together and start tuning it up. So now that we've tightened it up and it's all back together, we turn the machine on and it should be nice and quiet. Like that. All you can hear is the motor running. Now if you hear this sort of noise, then you know, then you know the chain is touching the drum and we need to do some tuning. So to start tuning this Husker, and as you can see this is a V-twin, so it actually has two chains on the same drum, but some only have a single chain, but it's exactly the same procedure for both. We initially make sure that this pressure bar is roughly in the middle, as you can see it's 50% there, 50% there. This end could probably do with taking a little bit of tension off. Okay, we undo this one, and you see the bar's going up, and then we do that one up, and what we want is that we want to say the springs are tight, but there's still a bit of movement there. And then once we've got that, we move over to the end where the chain tensioner is. We turn the machine on and just keep your fingers away from everything. And you'll see on the end here, we have a set of lock nuts, which we're going to undo. Like so, and then this final nut, if we loosen that, we should start hearing the chain on the drum. So we go back half a turn. the nut up again. As you can hear the machine is nice and quiet. All you can hear is the motor running and that is the chain tensioned up to the right amount. So to double check our tuning is right we've got the back of a hammer. Please don't use your hands and we press on the on the chain in the middle of the chain and we should be able to make it touch the drum. There we go. So we know that the chain is probably about six millimeter quarter inch off the drum which is about right. So to fine tune the chain, we run a few nuts through and then have a look once they've come out. Uh, and there's really two options. One is that there's damage on the outside of the shell, which means the machine's been too aggressive. Or one that the husk is still stuck to the outside of the shell, which means it's been too soft. So in this particular case, there's a little bit of damage on the outside of the shell. So the machine's too aggressive, so we'll detension the springs a little bit. So to detension this machine, we're going to undo the top nuts on, on both sides by a few turns. And we'll pull the bottom ones up, just to lock it into place. And so that's taken a little bit of tension off the spring, so it should be a little bit gentler on the nuts. Now what we have found, just by experience, is that the Husker is usually happier if we put a little bit more tension on the outlet side of the machine. So the inlet is a bit higher and the outlet's a tiny bit lower. Okay, well I hope that gives you a quick overview of how to tune a D Husker. Whether it's a single chain or a double chain like this one, the tuning's pretty much the same. And just as the season goes on, you might just have to have a look at what comes out of the husker, whether the shell is, is getting a little bit damaged if the nuts are getting bigger, or the chain is stretching a little bit and you can hear the noise again. Um, other than that, have a great season. And if you have any questions, give us an email or a phone call and we're more than happy to help.